Kern County hasn't seen a school shooting since 2013, but that hasn't stopped designers from upping security and wondering if it's enough to stop a killer. Standard Elementary in Oildale was designed with gunfire in mind. How can we make our schools safer knowing that in the 21st century school shootings have become a reality? The district designed Standard Elementary in 2018, the same year a gunman murdered 17 students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. From the very beginning, designers keyed in on the features most likely to hinder such an attacker. Cameras six-foot fences, uh, buzzed-in gates to let parents in, um, doors that are easy to lock from the inside. Standard Elementary also boasts bulletproof windows and a layout that ensures all students are encircled by buildings and fences at all times. It's just one example of the line designers have to walk, shielding students from bullets without making schools feel like fortresses. There's a tendency for schools to become uh, more institutionalized, looking like institutions when you want them to be welcoming and a uh, place where kids feel like it's an excited place to be. Educators wonder how we got here. I don't think anybody went into education 10, 15 years ago. I don't think anybody goes into education today with the mindset that they're going to have to be a barrier to violence to kids. And they wonder whether all these measures are enough. Hogue served as a local principal during the Sandy Hook massacre and now is forced to take stock again. I walked that campus and I walked that campus that I was in charge of intently and I looked at everything I possibly could do on that campus. I looked at exits, I looked at entries, I looked at our procedures, I looked at our trainings and then I reflected on what occurred at Sandy Hook and I thought all those things that I just reviewed would not have stopped what occurred in Sandy Hook and I think that if I was to do the same thing today for what occurred in Texas the outcome would be the same and that sense of helplessness doesn't sit well with anybody including myself. You know, just so startling the advances in security measures that have had to, had to happen in the past 10, 15 years. You know, educators did not see this coming. And you don't want schools to look like prisons, but it feels almost that that's what we are, you know, coming down to. You know, right. having every possible security around that building so no one can get in and no one can get out without mm -hmm. going through the proper channels. You know, it is interesting, though, to see these newer schools. You notice uh, some of the changes are, uh, you can see with the human eye, right? Mm -hmm. You can see that a lot of these schools don't have windows uh, except at the very top mm -hmm. of, right. the, uh, of, the, of the classroom uh, to prevent someone from looking in. Mm -hmm. and, and, and just that small difference, I mean, that that, that, that small thing can make a huge difference and, and you know that there are these schools especially these more recent schools that are popping up across the country and even here in Kern County again have these uh, tragic things in mind unfortunately you know one devastating thing that um, that when I was talking to Paul over at Standard he told me the the windows there at Standard yeah. Elementary are the exact height of a child's head um, and that's not just so that people can't see into the classroom it's so the students can't see out of the classroom. We had that, um, we had that child speaking about what he experienced. And yeah. It's to protect the students from that trauma. Wow. wow. That's just devastating. All right, Chris, thanks so much.